I always like to tell patients that nobody's born with contact dermatitis, um, and I do uh, kind of have that, um, I, I draw a relationship to the allergy to poison ivy. Um, really, nobody's born with an allergy to poison ivy, and you'll see people that will say, oh, I'm not allergic to poison ivy, and so they are the ones that, you know, are going into the bushes to get the ball that goes into the woods or, or whatever, and then one day, you know, they've had enough exposure, they've gotten sensitized to it, they will do the same thing, go into the, the weeds or the bushes, and then, you know, a few days later, they'll break out in a horrible case of poison ivy. People develop allergies as they um, age, they aren't born with them. It's all a matter of your own personal makeup um, as well as how much you're getting exposed to these substances. That determines when or if you're going to develop a contact sensitivity or an allergy to these substances. I have a lot of patients that when I tell them all of the things they're allergic to, they will look at me, you know, with surprise and be like, well, I've never been allergic before. And so that's, Usually when I have to say, nobody's born with allergies, you develop them as you age or with, with age. Nobody can determine when you might develop an allergy, if you're going to develop an allergy. Once you're allergic to um, one of these substances, you don't lose the allergy. You will be allergic for the rest of your life. Um, as you age, your immune system does kind of decrease and so, Older patients may not be as allergic or they may not manifest their allergy as much, but they, they do still have the allergy. It's just that their body is not reacting as much as it used to. But I have plenty of patients that come in at 70, 80 years of age with contact dermatitis. So it's not a disease only of young people. It can um, be a disease of young, middle-aged, elderly patients, it sort of runs the gamut, unfortunately. It's estimated that about 20% of people actually have some kind of contact dermatitis. It's pretty easy to control for most people. Um, you know, they might get a rash from a necklace or a watch, um, and that is a form of contact dermatitis. It's often from nickel. So what patients will do is they just won't wear that watch. They'll know to avoid costume jewelry. They'll only wear, you know, gold jewelry or platinum jewelry and then they don't break out from those items. So it's actually, contact dermatitis in its truest form is really common. Contact dermatitis is a type four hypersensitivity reaction as opposed to the seasonal allergies, which are a type one hypersensitivity reaction typically. And so the, um, the immunotherapy shots that people get for seasonal allergies, hay fever and the like, um, we don't really have that equivalent for contact dermatitis, unfortunately. And you know, we're always trying to come up with new and better treatments for contact dermatitis. Um, but as of yet, we don't have you know the magic bullet or um, shots that you can get like they have for the seasonal allergies.